it's not recorded. Uh, thank you, babe. Thank you. Um, so that that's the first thing. Okay. Um, the winner of that challenge, um, there were about 20 of you uh, that responded because all I asked you to do was listen to the video and then respond with the takeaway, put all your names in a drawing. Uh, the person has to be on the call. Those let me make sure they're on. And if not, I'll do another number deal. They're not on, man. Oh, man. No, they're not on. Okay, let me do. Let me do another one. Hold on. Let me do another number. I always have my handy dandy number generator from Google. And then I just have y'all's names numbered. It is summer. Summer won the challenge. Congratulations, my dear. I think summer's here. Summer's here, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. I don't see your face, but congrats, my friend. Okay, so she won that challenge. Thank you, Robin. That's so You're exciting. so welcome. You're so welcome. So um, if you have not listened to it, guys, go back and listen. It is worth it. I listen to things like this all the time when I'm making dinner, when I'm getting dressed in the morning, like my cars are rolling university. That is how you continue to feed yourself, feed yourself to build belief, to build confidence, to stay the course. It is totally worth it. Okay. The second thing I want to share with you is Super Saturday is the next big thing coming up. It is something you want to register for. Um, Valerie Burton is our keynote speaker. I just happened to purchase a book from her in the airport in uh, last month or the beginning of November, I think, um, when I was traveling to Florida. And then lo and behold, a couple of weeks later, Plexus announced that she was the keynote speaker for Super Saturday. So I'm really excited about hearing from her. We have lots of great announcements coming with Super Saturday. It is the biggest um, training event of the year, primarily because it's virtual, right? So so many more people can attend because it's a virtual event. You do want to register, even if you're going to someone's house. I've seen a couple of leaders saying that they're doing something at their home. Um, I'm hosting a retreat for my level one. So I will have people from all over um, watching Super Saturday with me. But um, even if you're attending someone's home or someone's group for Super Saturday, you still wanna register because you get three free enrollment codes. And right now we don't have a uh, dollar enrollment or free enrollment going on. So you want that in order to really help you lock in your, your cowboy boots for the first month of the year. We also have, um, the boot incentive. Speaking of boots, we have the boot incentive. And I posted about that today as well. I'm repeating a lot of things because a lot of people don't see the things that I post or they're working all day. They, they, you know, they haven't gotten caught up yet. But the boot incentive is really cool. A, because it's it's surrounded around this theme of convention because the convention obviously is in Nashville this year um, in June. If you haven't registered for convention, you want to make sure you do that. It is literally one of the biggest things that will help to skyrocket your belief in what we're doing and why we're doing it and the importance of the work that we do. But the um, boot incentive is just like all the incentives that they've had the past five, six, seven months. You add three people, three VIPs with a welcome pack or with a hundred dollar order, you earn a pair of uh, boots. For this particular incentive, you have an option. You could just take the $150 cash or you could take the 150, I think it's $150 cash, but I know that the boots, um, gift card that you get from Boot Barn is $150. And we have, I live in Texas. So, I mean, there's a billion Boot Barns, but I don't typically go to Boot Barn, just being honest. And so I went to the website and I was like, what do they have at Boot Barn? They have a ton of stuff at Boot Barn. They have all kinds of men's boots. They have all kinds of women's boots. They've got booties. They've got high boots, short boots. They've got fry boots. They've got cowboy boots. They've got all kinds of boots. So um, they also have clothing. So there's lots of things you can get with this gift card. Um, you can earn two that, yes, Candace, thank you for reminding me. They also have Uggs, house shoes, and all kinds of Uggs boots, all the things, okay? So there's, I'm sure there's more stuff that they sell that I just didn't see. I didn't spend a lot of time on the website. So go and pick out the, the ones that you want. I always do that when I'm really excited about something um, and it motivates me. It's like, I'd rather someone else pay for me to have these nice boots than for me to have to spend money out of my own pocket on these boots. So um, that incentive is happening right now. We also have an incentive where you get um, a free shipping with a $175 order. You also get a free hand mixer, like the hand mixers to mix up all of our drinks and stuff with a $199 order. I got that when my sub went through on yesterday or day before. 
the second, I think is when my sub goes through. Um, so I got both. I got the hand. And it shows right there. When you set up your sub for you to get a, that certain amount, it will automatically, it'll say free hand mixer, free shipping. So you'll pay zero dollars for that. And then you'll get the free hand mixer. That is something that you want to share with um, the people in your organization, especially if they're regular customers, because it's just good customer service, because maybe they are already at 150 and they're like, oh, I'll add another 50 bucks to not because I mean, shipping is expensive, y'all. If you can save 14, 15 dollars on shipping, then I mean, that's halfway that's halfway getting a new product. You know what I mean? On top of that, getting a hand mixer. And um, a lot of us have hand mixers. Mine actually break all the time. I don't know. I, I have several, but they don't last very long. Um, so that's something you want to reach out to people about. The other thing you want to reach out to people about is we do still have the reset combos discounted. Okay. First of all, we have reset combos because I don't know if y'all are aware, but reset combos is not something we've always had for existing people. If I wanted to go get you or I wanted to go get a reset and the triplex, we could not purchase them in a combo before last month. We could only get them separately. Does that make sense? And so there's a savings now, which is limited time where you can get the combo, the triplex or a weight loss combo or something like that. You can get one of those and the reset for about one, for 189, which normally would be about 254. So people are saving close to $70 on getting that combo. So you want to share that with people as well, because there are people in your organization that probably do want to do another reset, or maybe they haven't done the reset yet and they thought about it. And if they're already a regular product user, this is the time for you to reach out to them. And some of you may be thinking, oh, why would I take the time to do that? Because they're already ordering regularly. I'm not going to worry about them, A, because it's good customer service, because you're offering something to them that is not normally offered to them. The second reason why you would do that is, guys, the larger orders that people place, it doesn't change the number of points that you receive in your business but it does increase our pay point, okay? When people's cart sizes are larger, that helps to increase our pay point. Increasing your pay point increases your paycheck. So there is reasons why that besides just it benefiting the person that you're reaching out to, which should be a good enough reason to be reaching out to individuals and letting them know, okay? About the different things that they have for existing folks. Okay, we also have a reset resolutions group that's starting on the 8th. Right now, we just started a three-day challenge group. The reset challenge groups are going to continue to go on, but we have the reset resolutions group. I think Raya Moore is um, spearheading that. That's happening on the 8th, and it's going to go a full week. Now, before I get into the crux of what we're talking about tonight, um, I, I did want to address the accountability group and the book club that I, I put out there and I asked kind of to gauge some interest. I think I put it out there last night in a post on Leading with Excellence. I want you guys to really understand kind of the method to my madness and why I change things up and do things differently. I think every year I end the year really thinking about what could we do differently? How could we improve? How can I improve as a leader? How can we work smarter? All the things. I'm always thinking about things from different angles. And um, one thing that I have noticed over the course of several years of doing this business is that the seasons in which I feel like our team is really growing in a, in a forward trajectory is when we have accountability groups. And one of the things that, and I know sometimes when you hear the word accountability, it's like you want to cringe. You're like, I don't know that I really want accountability. Like, I don't know that I want to have my feet held to the fire. I want to work on my own pace and the blah, 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 and all the things. And what I want to remind you of is if you're spending time every week on these calls, if you're spending time every month or every day listening to a training, consuming content, consuming information, setting goals, saying you want to reach a goal, blah, 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 all the things, you really want to actually bear fruit. And a lot of times we get into this cycle of, oh, I'm doing all these things in my business. And it makes you feel good because it's like, I'm doing all the things. But at the end of the day, if you're not really bearing any fruit and you're not moving forward, then guess what? That means some things need to shift. And for most people, what needs to shift is that they, they really do need some healthy accountability. And the reason why that's that's so important for a lot of people I've, I've noticed over the years in this business is because this is a business that is simple to do. Like the, the things that you have to learn to do in this business are pretty simple. Posting, reaching out, following up, expanding your network, making connections, 
personally developing yourself, right? Those things are very simple to do, right? That's what I love about this business because you don't have to have a PhD, a college degree or anything to do this. Anybody can learn those skills, right? But the thing that most people really struggle with is mindset because this business is really 70% mindset and 30% skill set, if not more. It could be really 80% mindset and 20% skill set, but it's mainly mindset. And what happens for people a lot of times is that they start something like this and they have these big goals. But a lot of times, if they don't see the, the, them reaching the goal in, the, in a timely fashion or the, the way that they would think that they would reach the goal and the time frame they would think that they would reach the goal or should be reaching the goal, then people get discouraged and then they kind of take a step back. And so you have this a lot of starting and stopping in the business, okay? And when you do that, you end up really feeling discouraged and you lack the confidence to continue to stay the course. And so accountability really helps you to stay the course because if you have someone that you've locked arms with, because it's one thing to have accountability and you're just in the group, oh, I'm in the group. But if you're in an accountability group, you really need to have another person that you are accountable to specifically, okay? So I'm not really sure, guys, what this is going to look like yet. I, I'm really just trying to make sure that we don't have people tied up every single night of the week doing something in the evening um, call wise. And so that's the reason why I'm proposing, and none of this is etched in stone, but I'm proposing that minimum twice a month, we do these accountability calls. We also are going to be doing book clubs, book studies, because I really think the personal growth and development, we need to amp it up this year. I know you guys are thinking, I could, didn't even read the four books that Robin suggested, but I think we need to have consistent personal growth happening, consistent. And so the way, the only way that that can happen time-wise is if we do a 30-minute accountability call and then a 30-minute book club call, and they're right back to back. Because right now, when normally when I do calls, they're 40, 50 minutes. So guess what that's going to challenge me to do? I got to get more succinct in my training. Um, we got to get, we got to get things in order so we can tie things up in a nice pretty bow in one hour. Okay. Um, we will still have some team calls. So don't think I've co totally forgotten about doing gut health product trainings and those things Th that will happen. Um, I just haven't figured out kind of the cadence and the schedule that that will take place. So if that's something that you are really interested in, I don't, I don't really like using the word interest because be like, oh yeah, I'm interested, but I'm never going to do it. But if that's something that, you, that you're in your mind, you're like, I need to commit to this. And even though I may not want to do it yet, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to put myself out there. I'm going to do it. Comment in the chat. Um, I really want to see engage um, the level of interest in this, because as you guys know, when I'm putting stuff out there, it takes a lot of energy and effort for me to create the content and do all the things. And it won't be um, as stringent as some of my accountability groups have been in the past, because I'll be honest, it is very difficult for me to keep up who's turning in their stuff and who gets the link and this is that and the other. So I haven't figured all of that out, but it's not going to be as stringent as it normally is because you guys at some point, you guys have to want this just as much as I want this for you, right? Um, and so you being honest with yourself and doing the actual activity is, is really going to ultimately be on you. So comment in the chat if this is something that you are really deciding that you're going to commit to um, without knowing all the details, but just know it, it won't be as stringent as it has been in the past, but it's definitely a way for you to commit to your business and commit to doing the things that are going to produce fruit and create growth in your business. Okay, so having and creating a strong start in your business. The biggest thing that I see people do is that they set goals. People set goals in their business because we encourage you to set goals. But a lot of times, if you're still holding on to an excuse, right, you have to go back and revisit your why and your intention behind your business. And so one of the really big ways that you can create a strong start in your business is something y'all just did, is being willing to embrace the accountability and the feedback. Coaching is so important. Being coachable is so important. Being willing to receive feedback is so important. And accountability is so important, y'all. And in this type of business, a lot of times our mindset is that, well, I want to do this because I want to be a business owner. I want to do this like I want to have my own business. 
well, you can have your own business, right? We all are independent business owners, but you can have that, but still have and desire to have support, desire to have coaching, desire to grow, because what is the definition of insanity, y'all? Doing the same thing. thing. Oh, I want somebody to unmute themselves. Please, you, please tell me. Doing, doing the same thing over and over again with no, with no results. Exactly. Doing the same thing over and over and over again, but expecting different results. You won't, guys. You will not get different results if you keep doing the same things over and over. And so one of the reasons why I love a new year is because it almost forces everybody to take a hard and long look and like pause for a moment and make a decision about what do I want to do differently? How do I want to operate and move differently in this coming year? So coachability, accountability, ability, and, and bracing feedback, all those things is really important, right? Also having a growth mindset, y'all. This is a great way to start the new year is to really look at, at do I have a fixed mindset or do I have a growth mindset? Am I constantly looking at things from the vantage point of, I don't know how I'm going to get to Emerald in a year, but I know I can figure it out. That's a growth mindset. Instead of looking at, man, my points are so low. I just don't know how that's going to happen. You cannot think from that perspective if you want to grow this year. You can't. You have to have a growth mindset because truly and honestly, everything in this business, you can figure out because guess what? Lots of things in this business, I haven't figured out everything for sure, but lots of things in this, big, in this business I have figured out because I knew nothing about any of these things before I started Plexus. Nothing about gut health, knew nothing about sales, knew nothing about leadership, knew nothing about follow-up. I knew nothing about any of these things, okay? So you can figure these things out too. So going back to holding on to excuse, if you're still holding on to an excuse in your business, or in your life, or you're using an excuse that's happening in your personal life as a reason why you won't commit or can't move forward. You really have to go back and visit your why and your tension because your why must not be compelling enough if your excuse is stronger than your why. I'm going to say that again. Your why must not be strong enough if your excuse as to why you consistently don't show up for yourself, don't engage, don't listen to, don't hop on team calls, don't listen to Tuesday tips, don't re do reach outs, don't do follow-ups, don't post consistently, don't expand your network. Those are the things that you have to do in order to build your business, period. If you consistently have an excuse as to why you don't do those things, then that means that you're, you don't have a compelling enough reason to do this that will override the result. I mean, the excuse, excuse me. I was trying to let someone in. Um, so we all have reasons, y'all, every single one of us have reasons. And I mean, most of us have legitimate reasons and things that come up that really feel in the moment they feel really important. They feel really urgent, but if we don't treat our business as a non-negotiable, guess what? We're always going to negotiate. We are always going to negotiate why we didn't do the thing. Okay. And so what I really want everyone to realize at this juncture is that you're not even negotiating just with your business, right? You're not negotiating with your business. You're negotiating with your future and the things that you say you want. And so I really want that to be convicting for some of you to, to really go into 2023, realizing that anytime you're making an excuse for what you're doing or lack of what lack of what you're not doing, it is really, really important that you understand that it's not just you negotiating your business. You were negotiating your future, right? And when you go into this new year, you really have to look at this business from the perspective of I'm in this for the long haul. Some of you are like, okay, I'm gonna set, I'm gonna set a goal, a six month goal or a 90 day goal. And if I don't reach that goal, then I'm kind of, I'm tapped out. Like I'm, I'm done. And you just can't do that. Like you can't because you will consistently in every other area of your life, this is, is not just gonna show up in, in your plexus business. This is gonna show up in lots of areas, in your personal relationships, possibly even your marriage. It's gonna show up in so many different areas, your regular nine to five. And you're gonna always be feeling like, man, why do I always quit on myself? So you're not just negotiating with your business, you're negotiating with your future, okay? 
you have to show up for your business daily, guys. If you want a strong start to 2023, you have to show up every day. You have to show up, though, for the results that you will obtain in the future. And so many of us, we, wanna, we want to show up for the results that we think we should be getting right now. Guys, I could give you example after example after example of me not seeing any fruit, right? In many seasons, right now I'm in a season where I'm like, I'm not really saying all this I'm putting into, I'm not seeing the fruit. But guess what? I continue to stay the course. It is so important to stay the course and it's so important for you to think about this as it relates to showing up for the results that you will achieve in the future, not for the fruit that you're going to bear today, okay? That is immediate gratification. We are not people that are seeking immediate gratification. If you did, you would not, you should not, if that's really what you're looking for, guys, you should not be doing this. And I, I hate to say it, but you just shouldn't be. You should go into some other, I don't know what, but it's not this, okay? You have to be looking at this for results that you are wanting to see in the future. So staying in that work daily, even when the results aren't coming, that is when you know that you shifted your mindset to be future focused. You've really said in your mind that you were going to be future focused. And so how do we do this during the insanity of all of our crazy busy lives. So I know a lot of you are listening to me talk and you're like, I, it's already, I'm sounding like Linus and Charlie Brown. Like, wah, 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 but I'm so busy and I've got all these things and I've got these crazy kids and my marriage is in the toilet and I've got all this work to do and my job is just eating my lunch. and I've got all these things, crazy things happening. And I'm here to tell you that you just simply have to make a plan and stick with it. That's why accountability is so important, y'all, because you have to have a plan. What is a non-negotiable for you to do every day in your business? So when you make that plan, you're going to make a plan of when you are daily going to get your work done. You have to make a plan for when that's going to happen rather than you planning to just fit it in. One of the biggest and worst mistakes, I don't know who made this up in Plexus or I heard it in Plexus, but someone said, oh, you just fit this business into the nooks and crannies of your day. That's the biggest lie ever told. I, I could not tell you how untrue that is. If you want to move in your business, this is not something you can just fit into the nooks and crannies. And I hate to be the bearer of bad news. I know some of you are like, oh, I was thinking this was going to be a ticket to like freedom, like financial freedom. And I would just be able to sign a few people up and one person would like, I could ride their coattails to the top. Uh, newsflash, no, that's not going to happen. Okay. This is legitimate income, guys. This is legitimate opportunity. This can be sustainable income for your family for years to come, just like it is for me. But it did not happen by happenstance. It happened because I was intentional about treating this business like a business from the very beginning. Okay. So it's really, really important that you make a plan and you stick with it, right? When you fit this business into the nooks and crannies and where you're just like, oh, I'm just going to like, whenever I can get it in, I'll fit it in and that'll work for me. As soon as you do that, that method is going to cause you to have so much mom guilt for my moms. It's going to cause you to have so much overwhelm. It's going to cause you to have so much anxiety because not only are you not really leading by example, because guess what? If you, if you function and operate like that in your business, how in the world do you expect to attract people who actually are going to take the business seriously? Is not. You're going to attract a bunch of people that just move casually in their business. Oh, I'll do it when I feel like it. I'll fit it in when I can. Guess what? Probably never going to happen. And so it is just incredibly important that how the people that you want to attract to your business, that you show up in that way for yourself. Because you can't lead others until you've made a decision that you're going to lead yourself well. Okay. I want you to put in the comments if you are willing to draw your line in the sand and say, this year I'm going to lead, I'm going to lead Robin well. Okay. So for me, I'm going to lead Robin well this year. If you're like, I'm going to, I am going to lead myself better this year. I want you to comment because that guys, that's the ticket. That is the ticket. If you can learn to lead yourself well, 
you will naturally attract people who are going to lead themselves well. And it's something I work on daily. It's like, Robin, I have to lead by example because I can't expect, hold on, let me let more people in. I cannot expect to attract people who are business-minded, who are disciplined, who are focused, who are, if I'm not those things. So it's literally convicting for me to do this. Like it's convicting every day because I do not want to be a farce. I do not want to be a person that says something and does something different, right? I want to be a person who's building a business with integrity and feels good about what I'm doing. And so every single time, that is what I'm focusing on, right? So while I'm always constantly recruiting. I'm always working on how I can become a better leader. And so I'm hoping and praying that you go into this new year with that same level of conviction because guys, there's so much power on this team. There's so much intelligence. There's so much wisdom. There's so much power in what we can do collectively as a team. And for whatever reason, we kind of lost sight of that the past year or so. And so we've got to get back into the mindset that we are truly the name of Summer's team, world changers. Like we can, we can truly change the world, but it happens one person at a time. And that person starts with you. The first person is you. Okay. So making a plan, not going into this mom guilt, anxiety, overwhelm by saying you're going to fit this business to the nooks and crannies because that's a lie, right? Because what you're going to do if you do that is you're going to give the last bits of yourself to your business. That's why we see so many people that nothing really happens until the last three or four days of the month and people decide, okay, let me get to work. Let me, let me try to do something. You cannot operate that way anymore, okay? It's not good. It's not fun. Guys, if you operated the way that some of you do the last three to four days of the month, if you function and move that way in your business the first 15 days of the month, do you know where you would be in six months to a year? Half of y'all would be close to Jewel, if not Jewel, truly. If you operated that way every single day, and I'm not saying every day, all day long, this is what, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying intentionally working your business. For some of you, you have, you want to reach a goal in a faster amount of time. So you may have to work a couple hours a day on your business. Some of you, you only have 45 minutes a day. That's fine. But just be consistent with whatever you're deciding to do, right? And know that your goals need to be commensurate with the amount of work that you're willing to put in, okay? And so this is why we approach, uh, uh, this is why we promote accountability groups on our team. It's the reason why we have tasks that we want to assign you when we do these accountability groups, income producing activities, because all this talk and all these books and all this reading and all the the camaraderie and the community and all of that doesn't amount to a hill of beans unless you're actually putting those things into motion. Okay. I loved it when Rebecca folks on the video that I challenged you guys to listen to. I mean, she, she went to Proverbs and she, she, she quoted scripture saying, you cannot just be hearers of the word. You have to be doers of the word, right? Because it doesn't do you any good to say that you're a believer if you hear all the things and you know all the things, but you don't actually believe them because if you believe them, you'd actually do it, right? It's so incredibly important, right? The other thing that I want you to remember is that you've got to make a decision to eliminate the fluff, okay? So many of us, we get so caught up in, okay, I want to make my graphic the prettiest, or I'm going to spend three hours on making a post. And yes, your posts need to be genuine. Yes, your posts need to be good. Yes, your posts need to be adding value. But if you're spending three hours or two hours or an hour and a half creating and crafting a post, guess what you're not going to do? You're probably not going to be reaching out to 15, 20 people a day, right? <laughs> because you've spent all your time doing a post. And so you've got to eliminate some of the fluff. You've got to make decisions on how much you're going to be scrolling because because we're in a social media business, we can't avoid social media, but social media is a big black rabbit hole. I mean, it is a horrible hole to go down and it is possible to go down this hole multiple times a day because we're on our phones. We work from our phones. So you've got to create some boundaries around that. 
Um, and so just eliminate the fluff and do the tasks that are um, that are going to produce fruit in your business. And, and those tasks are things that you guys already know about. So I won't mention them here, but the things that basically you're asked to do if you decide to join the accountability group. And so I'm going to read this to you. I thought it was so profound. Um, and it's definitely something that I am going to be speaking over myself weekly um, in this year, 2023, okay? So first, I will establish rhythms, okay? I will establish rhythms that welcome the Holy Spirit, build the kingdom, and encourage my spirit. I will focus more on the person I want to become instead of the goals I hope to achieve. The first will protect the second, and I'll break that down in just a minute. I will ask for fresh vision and new perspective over the year ahead. Gratitude will lead me. I will discipline myself to remain in the present, trusting God to take care of each day as it comes. I will rem remember that Jesus is already proud of me and that I am loved. This is my confidence and my courage to walk forward. This will be a strong start to 2023, y'all. Okay. If you actually are not hearers of that word, but doers of that word. Now, one thing I want to break down before we go is this idea of focusing more on the person you want to become. Yes, we want you to set goals. Yes, we want you to have a path to get to where you want to go, right? Because you can't go from where you are now to where you want to be in a span of time, three months, six months, nine months, 12 months, 18 months, two years, however long it's going to take you to reach whatever goal you set for yourself. You cannot do that without some sort of plan. The goal is the plan. But what I want you to focus on more than just the goal, because the goal is a byproduct of you becoming the person who you really want to be. If I know that I want to grow by 3,000 points this year, okay, that means I want to grow two more emerald legs, okay? If I want to grow by an X number of points in one year, I know that the only way that that's going to happen, it is going to be completely determined by the person I am becoming. And the person I'm becoming is part and parcel to the activities and the daily habits that I have adopted. So none of that happens, right? I can have a goal all day long, but if I'm not really focused on the person I'm becoming, and just to be a little bit more specific, what are you thinking when you think of the person you're becoming? Some of you may be thinking the person who does what they say they're going to do, right? The person who actually is punctual, is on time, it meets deadlines, does what they say they're going to do. If they say they're going to read 10 pages, they read 10 pages a day. If they say they're going to follow up with somebody, they follow up that day. If they say they're going to do 10 reach outs or 15 reach outs a day, they do those 10, 15 reach outs a day. If they say they are going to not treat themselves to a Netflix binging or go down the rabbit hole of social media and watch a bunch of Instagram or TikTok stories, um, that they are not going to do those things until they get XYZ done. That is how you actually start creating the daily disciplines and the habits. And that's how you change the person that you're becoming. Jeff Olson broke it down in Slide Edge, did he not? He broke it all the way down for us. We know the things that we need to do. It's just a matter of us doing it. So I really want you to write down and really reflect and think on over the next couple of days. What are the things that you need to do to become the person you want to be, right? What, what would need to shift? What would need to change? And if you focus solely on that, which is why I love the call that corporate did today and Genevieve was talking about small wins and they have this big hashtag with Texas now talking about small wins. Celebrate those small wins. If it's a health and wellness small win, maybe you're saying I'm going to walk minimum three times a week. Well, celebrate the fact that you walked one day that week, right? It's more than what you were doing before. That's a small win. If you are, you're not in the habit of reaching out, you're not in the habit of posting every day, you're not in the habit of reading your uh, personal growth and development books or doing devotional, whatever it is, all those can be small wins. And guess what, guys, over a course of time, if you focus just on that, the person you're becoming, then guess what's going to happen? 
the byproduct of that is that you're actually going to start reaching your goals. Okay. But you've got to get really clear and really focused on who that person is that you want to be and the things that you have to do to become that person. So guys, I hope that this was beneficial to you. Um, I pray that you guys take all of these things that have been shared tonight, really focusing on rhythms, really, really focusing on becoming um, the person who you really want to be instead of just singularly focusing on a specific goal in your business. Doesn't mean that you don't set goals. It just means that you really need to back it up and focus on who do you want to be? Who do you want to become? Because guess what, guys? The biggest reward in this business is not the financial freedom. It's not getting out of debt. It's not the time freedom. It is truly the person you become. And then the ripple effect of change that you can create in your community because you've set that example. Okay. It's because of that work that you do for and within yourself. That is the biggest win in this business. Hands down. I love being able to go to bed every night, really feeling proud of the work that I do. I really feel proud of the work that I'm doing. And I, I wake up every morning really excited because there's so much more work left to do. And I know some people are like, well, don't you get tired? Hell yeah, I get tired. Absolutely, I get, I get tired all the time. But when I think about one more life that's been impacted or one more person has grown or expanded their mindset or they've decided that they were going to set some clear boundaries in their life and they weren't going to continue to go down this negative path, um, that is what brings me joy. So guys, 2023 can be your year. It's completely a choice. It's completely up to you. And it's completely your decision that you have to make daily, daily in your business and daily in your life to become the person you really want to be. So you guys have a great rest of your night. Stay tuned on um, what our accountability group will look like. And if you haven't commented on that post, let me know there as well, because that's how I'm kind of keeping track because I will be creating a chat group for those individuals. So you guys have a good one. Love you. Love Bye, you. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Thank Bye, you, Robin. Thank Bye, you. Bye. Happy New Robin. Year.